how this happened, but this is this is really happening. I've got a lot to be thankful for right now because I'm about to travel the most ultimate way you can possibly travel. <laughs> Miss Sandy Lady is riding shotgun in a Prevo tour bus, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. This is my digs here. I'm gonna go on a little journey. Sadie Lady has her bed set up. We're ready to go on tour. I'm sitting over here and enjoying the, the ride here right now. And of course, I could be hanging out in that entire huge bus and there's even another room behind that door. The door is closed right now. I guess I'm gonna sleep on the couch. Seriously, this is so much better than driving my coach. Got all the ACs going so it's nice and cool here so there's a little bit of sound, but this is as cool as it gets here. But of course, Miss Sadie Lady, rather than being right next to me, she's over there trying to put her head on the driver's knee. Sadie Lady's loyalty goes to the bus driver. sandwich here. This is so much easier than driving. What should I put on the direct TV there? Lots of options here, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to roll and that means I've got some editing to do here. I've been working on this project for a while here. Still catching up on some Dean Lauk stuff here. We Check it out. We don't only just paint 2.9 million dollar buses, but we have to care for them also our customers demand the best working productively now i do i do a lot of my editing i don't tell people but i do a lot of my editing laying on my back i actually have back problems so if i sit hunched over at a desk for too long i'll get my back will get sore so i'm just knocking out a little bit of work here You know, sometimes nature calls, we all gotta do it. So going to the restroom while you're going down the road is much easier than having to stop, find a truck stop, or even a place to find your RV. I talked about in recent videos how in my RV, it was even harder to go to the bathroom because there was nowhere to park my RV just so I can go to the back when I'm traveling alone. So I'm gonna show you guys what the bathroom's like while you're going down the road. We all gotta do it. Now check out this shower too. Uh, Kyle says he has showered while going down the road. I would say that going down the road in the bathroom, it's kind of like airplane turbulence. Like here, I'll, I'll stand in here with you guys. Okay, so this is just kind of for show so you guys can see like I'm standing up straight. I'm kind of like bouncing around a little bit, but I mean, I could go to the bathroom if I needed, or I could probably even take a shower and I have to say, I did take a shower in here, super hot water, super high-end tile. I'm telling you guys, there's just all kinds of benefits of traveling by tour bus. You want a shout out on a, on a vlog, buddy? So the cool thing about riding in a tour bus, right now it's dark outside. You can see I'm going down the road, but I'm getting work done. I'm actually on a Zoom call right now. There's my buddy Eric over in Ohio. Hey everybody. Eric's getting a website set up for me, so keep an eye out for a website coming soon. We're putting in some work right now while we're going down the road. 
another awesome part about riding in a tour bus. Still less than 24 hours into the uh, charter here, I guess is what you would call it. I'm enjoying myself quite thoroughly. I got a good night's rest last night without having the stress of driving. I, I read some sort of test or something. I can't remember where I read it, but basically they hooked people up to stress sensors and followed their daily activities and saw what triggered the stress levels. And they noticed that everybody, when they're driving, their stress levels go up significantly just because you're operating a piece of equipment. There's a lot of uh, lot of moving parts and pieces. Your reaction time, you required, you're required to be alert. Um, and there's just something like right now, I'm sitting here looking at a GoPro. I'm not worried about this uh, little car passing us that might cut us off or you never know what's going on up there. There's just something to be said about not having to drive the bus. My stress levels are so far down, I can sleep better. I was just doing some editing work on my computer and uh, doing this editing is not easy. There's definitely times where I'm more in the zone than others and it's just i've been i'm well rested getting editing done so i'm feeling good so we're still less than 24 hours in we're just north of albuquerque right now uh i think the driver drove i don't know i was sleeping he got to albuquerque at about i don't know i was sleeping and then i woke up this morning and um walked sadie lady pretty early i was real quiet because the driver was still sleeping i'm not on that get the hotel room and whatnot for the driver so he's He's hanging out on the bus uh, when he's not driving. So really cool, dude. Sadie Lady's having a blast. Uh, next stop is Denver. Brad's down to a million eight, two point two sticker, million eight. St do you want to advertise that? Or this coach has a two point two million dollar MSRP for about thirteen and a half percent of that, which comes out to about three hundred grand. Taking a little nap. This is what the tour bus looks like with the slide outs out. I'm gonna turn this TV down here. I do indeed. Indeed you do. The moment sponsor it up. Okay, so if you're out on the road working and then you come back into this, and I mean this is this is just incredible, guys. I don't know how to I don't know how to just express how much I'm enjoying the tour bus lifestyle just having a tour bus i was just filming i'm over here at trans west in denver colorado getting a lot done now i'm gonna go get on my computer start editing and head to oklahoma we're going to newell i gotta take this call though with a great idea if you already own an rv i'm an rv owner but this is so much better than operating the rv myself so if you own an rv you can also hire just a driver and there's a lot of tour bus drivers that are out of work right now eager for business would probably give you some good deals so i would definitely recommend looking up your local tour bus company see if they've got a driver and you may have them buy drive you in your own bus now we're in a prevo right now so it is so comfortable back there i can go take a nap i can edit i don't know if my tiffin phaeton would be as comfortable but it i don't know i i, I it may not even be worth it if you have a tiffin phaeton but if you have like a nice bus maybe even a newell i'd be curious you know that country coach that guy i did a country coach uh video he was chilling in the back of the country coach and it was all good so uh, you know maybe may, maybe my tiffin i've never ridden in the back of my tiffin i've always been the driver so i wouldn't even know what it's like but uh you need to get a bunch of work done but you want to go on your rv trip you could even hire the driver to drive you there so you're like me getting work done in the back while you're while you're moving and then 
you could even like if you're gonna leave your coach somewhere for a week or two weeks you could fly the driver home and then fly the driver back when it's time to move so it it's not very expensive for what you get it's definitely I mean it's like having a chauffeur I mean this is like guys I do not deserve to be living like this this is like this is so awesome so and I can't thank border coach leasing enough by the way I highly recommend border coach leasing give Kyle a call we've done some videos where we've talked about tour bus pricing it's typically a thousand to two thousand dollars a day now this is a star coach double slide you know there's all these little little things I've got Wi-Fi going I uploaded a video like that it was awesome like it's it's like being at home how fast the Wi-Fi is so a lot to be thankful for guys I just hope that some of you can experience the same experience because RVing is one thing but riding in a tour bus it's a whole different experience live your life by a compass not a clock that's a quote by Stephen Covey. Travel far enough and you will meet yourself. That's a quote by David Mitchell. Travel, the only thing you buy that makes you richer. That's a quote by unknown, but a very good quote, I would say, because experiences seem to have more of a lasting effect on me personally than material things. Now, RVs are a tool to give you those experiences. So it's kind of that combination between a material thing and an experience. Greatly appreciate all of you liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.